Hello art students. Today we're going to work in the Letterland book again for page two, which is Annie Apple. So get a pencil. We're going to draw a pencil and we're also going to need to get the color green. We'll use the color green later. So just get out a green. It can be any kind of green that you want. All right. So I'm going to use marker because it shows up better on the camera. You use a pencil. So with Annie Apple, first thing that we're going to do is make sure you're in the box and drawing in the box. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come down and make a big circle in the box like that, but don't let the top touch. You're going to leave a little spot right there that's open. And then you're going to draw one line, two line, and connect them above that, this part of the circle. And with a little curve line there. And that's the stem for Annie Apple. And here's her body. Then you're going to come with a line out like that. And you're going to make a zigzag line that goes like that. And stop. And it comes back with another zigzag line. And that's her leaf on top of her head. You're going to come down here. And curve one. Curve two up and back up and back and one two three one two three for her eyelashes and then one two for her eyebrows one two one two and then circle and circle and then her nose is just an upside down U. And then she has one, two, three dots on each cheek for little freckles. And right below them, come down with a mouth. A U shape for the rest of the mouth. And then one bump, two bump for her tongue. And then a backward C shape and a regular C type shape. And there's Annie Apple's body. And then you're going to go out one, out two. And this one's going to be a little longer than this one because we got to go up one, up two. And then she comes out with her thumb, just a curve, up with a curve, and back up and down, and back up and down for her hand. And you're going to do another arm this way. It's going to curve like that. Curve like that. You're going to keep the curve going for a little bit longer. Keep the curve going. And one, two. And you're just going to make another hand like that. All right, so you got Annie Apple. Now we got to make the A that goes around her. And that's the tricky part. So... What you're going to do is start the stem and you're just going to make a circle that goes around, but you don't want to draw through any apple. So when you touch, when it comes around any apple and you touch, you stop and you come back up till you touch the leaf. And that's the inside of the letter A. It's a lowercase a. It's a small a. Around her hand, you're going to go up over and straight down as best you can my paper moves which goes straight down like that and here you're just going to follow that circle you're going to make another circle all around her now notice how it has a gap here when you have that curve curve bam and now you have a lowercase a Just like that for any apple. And she's sitting inside the small A. Um, when you go to color her, her body is red. The stem is brown. This leaf is a light green. Her arms are like a light green. So the actual A is 
is a green color and you can use any green you want I'm just going to quickly use this green to kind of show you you just don't color her but you just color the letter A and try your best not to color outside your lines if you can help it now, that can be difficult sometimes, but you just try your best. Again, I'm using a dark green. You can use a light green or a yellow green. It doesn't matter as long as it's some kind of green to fill in the A. Normally, I would go slower if I was doing this for anything else, but I uh, don't want to spend too much time wasting your time, just me coloring. So, but there you go. So, any apple inside a green little A. All right. Take care.